So reason number one is really obvious. I'm sure everyone knew this would be reason number one, but that being the camera. Not just the camera, but the camera experience altogether. This is a really big reason why this Pixel is such a good deal. The camera is very easy to use. It's very functional. It takes great photos. It takes most of the photos it takes. It has like a cool undertone. You can adjust the temperature of photos too while you're taking photos with just another tap. So nice videos, especially if you shoot 1080p at 60 frames a second, the videos just come out so smooth and crisp and really on the level of the iPhone videos. And not to mention also a very nice shortcut to open the camera and also a very nice shutter. Dynamic editing is really nice on here. You can just with one tap make a photo look somewhat professional, even professional in some cases, but the, the phone does all the work for you. When you press that edit, that dynamic edit button, you'll be surprised how good these photos are, how good, how good they turn out with just that one dynamic edit. And that's not to say the regular like unedited photos aren't good. If you have a Pixel 6 a, I'd, I'd try that out. And of course there's Magic Eraser, which works surprisingly well. It works most of the time too. That's a real nice feature to have on this mid-range phone, right? Night sight, the night mode. I say the night mode on the Pixel 6a is is somewhat faster than the, the night mode on the iPhone 14. And it only takes like a second to process the nighttime photos and it turns out some good photos. So great night mode. Uh, portrait mode. Portrait mode is really nice. I think this portrait mode is really steps ahead of the iPhone portrait mode. That's quite impressive if you think about the price ranges here. Like I said, I can go on and on and on about camera features of, uh, of this Pixel 6a. Really, it's all around good camera experience. Reason two being the impressive battery life. So this phone has 4,410 milliamp hours. So now that's pretty okay. I think for for this size of phone but it's about the the usage and it's about how the phone uses the battery and I can tell you that I can tell you that this phone uses the battery really well it has that adaptive battery feature it's stated on Google's website that this phone can last you 72 hours with extreme battery saving if you think about it if you're really if you really are in a hunch then this could potentially be a lifesaver so great battery life on here the only I guess con is that you can't wirelessly charge it but battery life really really impressive Reason number three being this display. I can't tell you en enough about this display. So for such a inexpensive phone, this display is top notch. It's a great OLED panel. I love my OLED screens and this one has it and it's a great, great OLED panel with, with deep colors. And not to mention it's, it's also very tall, the phone itself. I feel like that makes it a little more easier on the usability side of things and it's easy to grip too. Display is, is nearly bezel-less. There's a small chin but you can't really even see it because the UI doesn't really allow it to be seen. Yes everything all the animations are buttery smooth fast. With Android 13 that update made it even better. Like it's way more snappier with Android 13. HDR content is also supported. So the display is like I said it's, it's top-notch. It's really well done. Great feeling too. Great contrast and good display overall. Reason number four are these speakers. These speakers get really, really loud. There's one here in the earpiece and there's one down firing here. And they don't sound crappy too, that's the thing. They're balanced, that's that's the most important thing. The speakers sound very balanced, not tinny, and it's immersive, they're immersive. They're stereo speakers that draw you to really whatever you're watching. Great experience using the speakers. And not to mention also, the call quality, this little speaker here when you're talking to people on the phone. When you're talking to people on the phone, they like you can't hear anything behind them all you hear is their voice and that's it that sounds so nice when you're talking to people on the phone it also states that there's a noise suppression in the speakers i think that plays a factor in the um, call quality so no one talks about that enough but i really enjoyed the talk time i had on this on this pixel 6a very good very quality sounding person on the other side so reason number five enough people don't talk about this but there is a one-year warranty if you buy this google pixel i think everywhere but for sure in the US, there is a one year warranty. I think that's for most phones, but people don't really mention that. So even if it is for most phones, and it's for this phone too, a one year warranty is a long time. So most people have a phone for two or three years at the most. You know, so if you have one year of, of coverage while using this phone, that's a great thing to, that's a great security plan to have. So that's cool. Also there's five years of promised updates from Google, five years. And it's pretty known that if you like update your phone, sometimes like these updates make your phone feel brand new. Like going from Android 12 to Android 13, like I did a few days ago, the performance on this Pixel ever since I updated is, it's been very, very snappy. I didn't even uh, think it could get more snappier, 
but it did with Android 13. And you know, they keep on adding certain UI, certain customization things, keep on adding wallpapers and, and things of such. So if you're ever feeling your phone is old and you're getting tired of it, um, usually an update will kind of mitigate that. That's nice, again, that's a nice promise from Google there too. So five years of Google updates, very nice. Reason number six, I couldn't forget about this one. It's the Google Assistant. Like you guys know, I love the Google Assistant. It's so much better than Siri. Okay. The main thing is that it will have a remembrance. It will remember the context of what, of what you're talking about. So if you ask it, like, what time does the closest coffee shop open in my area? It'll know it opens at seven. And then say you ask it, what's on their menu? So it'll remember that you're talking about that coffee shop and it'll pull up the menu. And that sounds very basic and very simple, but you'll be surprised. I think Siri can't even do that. And it's such a simple thing too, but it's the little things. Google Assistant, I can't praise Google Assistant enough. It really completes this phone. If you're a techie person, then using the Google Assistant, using Siri, using these voice assistants, like they'll make your life so much easier. I don't know how many times I've told a Google Assistant or I told Siri to, to turn on the AC, to turn on the lights, to turn off the fan. You know, just these certain things that we all know that we get lazy for. The Google Assistant does those things the best. So a real, real big plus for the Google Assistant. And then last reason, I think these cows know the last reason, but it's the deal of the year. With the current promotion that Google is running, you can save $150 on this phone here, making the price in the US to be $300. And $300 for this type of phone, so for such a complete, for such a, easy to use for such a well-functioning, well-built phone. That's quite the deal there. And not to mention also, if you have another phone, I don't think just the Pixel phone, but even just a regular iPhone or another phone or a Samsung or something, you can trade that in. You can trade it in and it will get even cheaper depending on what you're trading in. So like, I don't know how, if you're, if you're thinking about gifting this for somebody or buying it for yourself and you're really and you do like pixel phones and you do like the experience of pixel phones i don't know how you can go wrong with this one or the flagship pixel 7 and pixel 7 pro and this one is the cheapest option that gives you the most bang for your buck so if you're thinking about picking this pixel 6a up i highly recommend it so google pixel 6a great phone